What's up YouTube? Yo gang, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about once again that also talked about Springfield Echelon. But um, in this case, this is 1,000 rounds later and how do I feel about it? Do I still feel the same? Uh, or am I having second thoughts about it? But you're gonna have to stick around and find out. Okay, so, as you know, um, I was very, very, very satisfied with the Echelon when I first um, actually had that first shot sent down range. I wasn't convinced off of just holding it in the hand, although it felt very, very good. Um, but um, because I am not a big fan of um, any Springfield handguns, I kind of struggled with even making the purchase but before we go any further we are in a safe and controlled environment we are at the gun range we have our piece of steel set up okay now that that's out of the way um uh, i i still wasn't 100 percent convinced because i did not or i do not care for any of their um handguns Hellcats especially, they are not my forte at all. I even went to the Hellcat Pro and still couldn't find the the shoot in it for me, for me. So when they came out with the Echelon, I said, you know what, let me give it a chance. I keep here, I heard nothing but good things about this pistol. And I was like, can it really be that good? Um. I don't know. I want to find out for myself, and that is exactly why I went ahead and purchased this pistol. The pistol is clear. Now, my initial review on this, I enjoyed it to the absolute maximum. It was a great shoot. It was a flat shoot. It felt nice in the hands. I couldn't get over the, the nice, fine stippling on it. Although I hear a lot of people saying it remind, it's like a, a, the daddy of the Hellcat. Um, again, I still don't even find that much of it being the daddy of the Hellcat. Um, but I can see some similarities of maybe a PD, a Walther PDP or, you know, something on that order. But as far as feels, it feels very, very nice. The grip is silky. It has a, it's not a very rough texture. It's a silky texture to the hand. It does have a 4.5 inch barrel. Um, this one in particular has the U sights on it with the, um, the fluorescent yellow front sight. That's the rear sight, front sight. We do have the uh, Holosun 407 seat. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Every time you do that, it just gives me a brain fart. We do have the Holosun 407C on here with the Surefire X300. So um, I feel like just dressing it up in the hole really completes um, the feel and the shoot for me. Um, now, if you didn't know, uh, the Spring... Uh, the Spring... Spring Cat. <laughs> the Spring Feel now has, or they have incorporated a modular grip so not only is it um the availabilities of switching out your grips to small medium and large it also has the ability to switch up the back straps small medium and large so depending on what it is that you feel or how it is that it feels in your hands it you know you can really pretty much make it your own and i can appreciate that and i think the number one thing that they super bossed up on was the um the ability they send you these little tabs in the box and you can pretty much create 30 different footprints for any type of i'm not going to say any but for the majority of the more uh, popular um optics or red dots on the market so the little tabs you would set them up on there and you would just fix it until you find whatever footprint it is that you're looking for <laughs> whatever footprint that you're looking for uh-huh leave them alone that's a, a b or something um whatever footprint that it is that you're looking for for your red dot so um when it came out of the box it had your 
uh, set up one because it gives you three different little bags and I found that the Holosyn 407C sat right on it without any additional changes or anything um, to it. So that was an absolute plus. So at this point right now, we are a thousand rounds in and um, I know it's what it's only been maybe, I don't even think I've had it a month yet. And that's just how much I have been enjoying it, but yet trying to find something that I didn't like. And this is why I do what it is that I do to try to give you a, you know, a non bias or, or, you know, that type of, uh, um what can i call it review on it so that you know you guys can really get the the 100 about it uh did i say we were in a safe and controlled environment i believe i did um at this point the only thing left to do now is what suit them up so we can set them down range let me help you come on okay so um my magazines are preloaded. It does come with two magazines. It comes with a 17 round and a 20 round magazine. Uh, it also has an additional additional base plate in the box for you to um, switch that up. So we're gonna go in first with the flush magazine. I did do a clear check. This is clear. All right, let's go in with the flush magazine first. Uh, uh. It still racks very nicely and it feels very nice in the hand. Mm. Wow, clear. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right. 20 round magazine gives it a nice extended look and I really like the way that that looks. I'm gonna talk to you about the slide in a minute. Yeah, the target is turned. Okay, she's clear and empty. Okay. The slide gives you so many more different uh, abilities to actually engage it. You do have these uh, little flare pieces on the back of the slide, which you can pinch and rack that. Aggressions in the front, aggressions in the rear, that really gives you the ability, regardless if your hands are sweaty, um, if you're in battle situation, uh, wet with any type of uh, substance or whatever, and it's, it's, it's there. All right, so we went through those two magazines. Everything's looking good. Let's get reloaded. And if you have not seen the initial review, the magazines load very nicely. And yeah, very, very nice. Uh, uh. All right, I don't think I mentioned what we were shooting. We're shooting MagTech. Uh, this is 124 grain. All right, let's get back in. Um, let's lock this slide back and drop the magazine. Oh. <laughs> lock the slide back and drop the slide with the... Okay, we're going to talk about that in one second. Okay, I find myself too, if I slam the magazine in hard enough, slide will go forward, which is not a problem. It just means it's really... Mm. Beautiful. Now. <laughs> yeah, boy. So far, so good. I'm just going to give you my little personal um, opinions about it um, after having it for about a month 
and I'm shooting it quite a bit. Well, two, two, three weeks. Um, I know it hasn't been quite a month yet. Um, taking it out to the range quite a bit, running it, like I said, trying to find um, something in it that could make me change my mind. And so far, so good. Um, just minor, super minor. And when I say minor, going back exactly to what I was saying, that um, slide lock, slide release, it's very small. It's not as pronounced as I feel like, you know, a firearm of this style or um, as rugged as this would look and, and seem, you would think that that would be a little bit more pronounced um, because the whole pistol is ambidextrous. So being that the slide release is so small to the, the lever is so small to engage or very tiny and I struggle with it a little bit, but it's really not a big deal. Uh, that was a hundred rounds. I'm going to get a few more rounds, but before we cut this, I am going to get these out. Ah, ah. All right. Like I said, if you hit it hard enough, the magazine will just go forward. And I don't think that was a, uh, it's a, a malfunction or anything of that sort. It's just, um, being ready. and this is not a full magazine and I'm gonna show you that once again if I forcefully jam that in there the slide goes forward mm! she's clear let me get one more box let me get one more box and then we will conclude. Uh, uh. All right, I wanna give a quick shout out to gunfood.com where I get all of my ammo, great customer service, great prices, and super fast shipping. Can't ask for no better than that. And I did say we were shooting uh, MagTech 124 grain. Let's do it. reset on that trigger nice and smooth there's like some movie stuff see that <laughs> beautiful there she is all right so no ammo left behind we may have a less than one magazine left so we will be running these and get some trigger action in there trigger how you guys doing today oh my goodness i am so sorry i didn't ask you guys that earlier y'all doing all right i'm doing good thank you for asking all right last mag I want you to get this. You got it? Real movie stuff. <laughs> mm, that is great. All right. She's clear. 150 rounds. Why are you acting so wild today? Like you have no home training, no manners. What's, what's wrong? What? Hello? What? Now he mute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about that echelon. Oh, and I do want to thank everyone for correcting me in the comments, breaking that down for me. No, it's not echelon, but um, I knew it wasn't echelon, but that's just how it was coming out. My mind was saying one thing, but my mouth was saying something else. So yes, the echelon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, we have officially 1,150 rounds through it and I am still 
100% satisfied with this shoot. Again, I have one little gripe, I mean is uh, one little gripe with it, and that would be the slide release. The slide release is very uh, small. Um, it's not pronounced at all. Um, if you even look at it from the back of the pistol, you barely can see it. Um, barely can see it there. And being that it is so so tight in there, it's, it's kind of hard for me to engage it with my thumb. So as far as everything else goes, mag release is good. Trigger is great. Memory pad for your um, index finger and your thumb is great. Uh, slide is great. Grip is awesome. Uh, I mean, I can go on and on and on and tell you how uh, much of a great job they did with this pistol. And again, uh, I am not a fan of Springfield pistols, but this one here is absolutely beautiful and shoots very, very, very well. So I do not feel any type of way about it. Um, money well spent and which is a good thing and it works and y'all know I love it when things work. So uh, this is many trips to the range later and she's still 100% satisfied with the shoot. Yo gang, listen, if you have not yet checked out www.yogang.com, make sure that you do pick up a t-shirt or a patch. It helps the channel and of course supports and gives me the ability to continue to bring the coolest the latest and the greatest out to you and um y'all already know i love it when things work but i love y'all for life peace